So this is an example of a main lower six portrait project. First page we go straight into photographs taken of close up of a student in various lighting conditions. You can see some of the influence of the initial foundation units in drawing techniques etc in some of his initial prep work. He's got very strongly lit portrait pictures on one side and quite a lot of darkness and he's looked at Caravaggio and then he's doing some more studies which I would class as initial prep even though they come in here after the artist so he is doing more initial preparatory work uh, we have a bit of a painting not very strong but we do have an example of a painting again I would call that initial preparatory work and we have some more drawings there he's following that idea of bringing some of the artist's influences into his initial preparatory work. Now we look at his main references to an artist called Jenny Saville, who works in these very loose, broad brush strokes, very energetic paintings and very large paintings too. So he's doing some analysis of the characteristics of the work which he likes thinking about how he can do images of the photographs he's taken in a Savile type style using charcoal initially. More analysis. Could have a bit of colour on these pages along with the, just the black lettering. copy of one of Savile's uh, techniques. This is in oil pastel. Again, more analysis. So this, there is analysis here, but it, it doesn't then move into a, a longer written piece of prose, which I think would add to this project. So now this is interesting. So what he's doing for development is he's working on top of some photographs with some very broad brush strokes to create that effect which he likes from Savile. So we've got quite a lot of detailed work going on here. So when one, when the examiner would look back here and think there isn't much analysis, there's not much prose in the sense of a convincing explanation and narrative rather than short bullet points, that starts to then appear when he's done his development or some of his development in the form of an essay. We go back to some more development work, lots of experiments, and here we see there isn't much final work in his sketchbook because of Savile's propensity to work large. Some of his work is on a too large a scale to fit in the sketchbook. So he's got some of his experiments here, plus how the images have changed over time. And then we've got some more development work here. And then it stops. But if we then look at his final images for his exhibition, we see there's quite a comprehensive range of work there and some strong pieces.